hello there. Seven o'clock in the morning at a busy Tan railway station in the Alsace. Just waiting for my train to head off to uh, Mulhus, Colmar and Munster to finish off the TMV bike route that I started in the summer. It's quite cold and grey overcast. Um, not a particularly attractive place to tan, but uh, anyway, hopefully the day uh, picks up as we go along. It's now 9.05, I'm on the train from Colmar to Munster. Just worked out to be a 90 kilometre ride or something. That's going to be a tough day on the mountain bike. But it does look dry, if not a little cold. And, um, Some small village just outside Munster, climbing steeply up into uh, the Vosges towards Lac Vert. And the road just keeps climbing and climbing, which is hardly surprising, but still knackering. Having a small break, get some clothes off and get some water in. It's really steep. I mean, I've just come from the Alps and this is just as steep, you know. You don't have to go all the way down there to find steep hills. Uh, here we are, Lac Vert. Suspicious, suspiciously Vert. Well, it's now 11.30, it's a beautiful day up here, I've just left Lac Vert and I'm on the Trans Massif Vosgen Trail, TMV, proper after what was a bit knackering, hour and a half climb up from Munster. But now, it's hard to make some kilometers south towards Tan. I think there's about 70 to go, so it's gonna be a long old day. But it's uh, gorgeous, really super. Down there, the, uh, the Alsace and the Rhine Valley. And I can just about see the Black Forest on the other side. just to show it's not all oh, downhill <laughs> there's plenty of this plenty plenty plenty
is what's diesel, diesel. Nice easy stretch for a while, climbing up out of the valley again, but uh, I have to say it doesn't look very uh, promising up there because uh, it's black and I think it's raining. It's not quite raining down here yet, but uh, up there it certainly looks black and raining which would be a bit of a disaster because I still got 53 kilometers to do been going uphill for 40 minutes on this dirt track and it's relatively hard but we're moving along moving along higher and higher and nearer and nearer oh it's murderous fucking murderous really steep and rocky it probably doesn't look like that on the camper but it's really hard work getting up this bloody path I've been at it for ages oh. to four uh, and I'm grinding to a halt this hill is absolutely never ending I think I'm gonna have to walk for a bit which is a bit of a pain but I'm knackered and I'll walk for a bit see if I can oh. Oh. Probably doesn't show on this, but uh, it's sheeting down with rain now and blowing a gale, and it's uphill, and I'm knackered. So I think that's a, a royal flush or a full house or something because I get a bit fed up now. Still, it really can't be far to the top now. I think that's the top over there, I'm not sure. The uh, Chalet de Wiedenbach, altitude 1,138 meters, and by goodness does it feel like it. Um, it's a little bit more to go, I think, and then we're over the top and down the other side. Uh, amazingly, there's still cows up here. <laughs> so, here we are in the Alsace with its gorgeous scenery and wonderful pastures and ridiculous headwinds which are almost blowing me backwards this is ridiculous I can hardly make any progress up this hill into the headwind and uh, Just keep plugging away. It's gotta go downhill soon. Well that appears to be the top. I just had to stop and put my, my bike lights on. And uh, because I'm on a road, as you can see. And it's quite foggy. I don't know how far, a couple of kilometers maybe on the road. But it's, uh, I have a feeling the time's going to, I'm going to run out of time today. It's now uh, 4.30, so there's about two hours of daylight left. And uh, I don't think that's going to be enough to see me there. I'm going to, we'll see. 
but uh, it's, it's pretty cold and wet so uh, retire with dignity to a warm shower is probably the best option. Of course the temptation is to go hairing down this at full speed but uh, with the poor visibility and slippy road track better just be a bit circular. Oh yes, definitely uh, a ski piste. Let's go across them. still going downhill and uh, it's now 20 past five it's, the light is pretty crap uh, difficult to see uh, clearly uh, what's going on but uh, anyway uh, sort of expecting it to be light till about half six but uh, with this fog and the rain Half six is, uh, it really properly be dark by then, properly dark, which is not great. Uh, this is pretty steep downhill and uh, rocky.
of course missed a bloody turn. Can I make it down that one? Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I go back up again. I know. Potentially down there. Let's have a look. Lost the brakes. Shit. Brakes have gone. What the fuck's that about? The tour is 200 meters left of you. Some weirdness with my brakes, huh? Ideal. Fucking downhill, no brakes. It doesn't matter, does it? I can just go straight down around this one. I'm not too sure if I'm... Oh, I have! Whoa. and pretty bloody slippy. Try a bit of... No, no better. This side, no better. Middle. Oh. Chaud, s'il vous plaît. Si c'est possible. Quelle journée! Je suis claqué. Je peux faire un, un, un deuxième? Well, it's now 10 past six and it's nearly dark. Uh, and there's 22 kilometers left, which would mean that I have to go up over that hill there to get to the hotel. Uh, happily, there's an alternative, which is another seven kilometers down the road. So after 275 kilometers, I'm gonna say that that 20 kilometers doesn't really matter that much. And I'll do it another day maybe if I ever come this way. Uh, I'm exhausted. I think actually today was uh, something like 80 kilometers. I think probably one of the longest mountain bike rides I've ever done. So, uh, somewhere in the Tan Valley, 
signing off for now. Ciao.